principles and styles. Our goals for this lecture are to understand what is a master page and why would we want to use one. We will cover the basic steps needed to use a master page. We will also learn how to break content from a master page and then reattach it if necessary. And then we'll mostly focus on nesting master pages for design automation. We'll also discuss what is a text variable. I will show you some examples of text variables that can be created in InDesign. Now there are a large number of text variables so I'm not going to show you how to apply every single one but I want to show you how you get to them so that you can explore them in more detail. One form of text variable that we will talk about in great detail is automating page numbering and how to automate book content like headers and footers and things like that. We'll also talk about M and N spacing, quotation marks, and the different types of quotation marks you may use as a graphic designer. And then we'll talk about hyphenation options. So in uh, previous versions of this course or in the earlier versions of this course, so this is advanced in design, so in the regular in design class, I may have showed you or your teacher may have showed you how to turn hyphenation on or off, but there are a number of different ways that you can automate the hyphenation of words. We'll also talk about styles. We will understand what styles are. We will cover the three basic types of styles that most people use in InDesign, which are object, paragraph, and character styles. However, there are five types of styles and we'll discuss those as well. We'll talk about when should you use a master page versus a style and how do you make that decision. We'll also talk about deciding when to use a character style versus a paragraph style. And we'll go through the basic steps necessary to create a style. Once we feel comfortable creating a style, We'll learn how to check to make sure that we're not breaking our styles. Do we need to clear overrides or redefine the style if it changes? And then we'll talk about nesting styles and why you may want to use that for design automation. So let's get started. What is a master page? A master page is a template page used in InDesign to automate the repetition of an element on multiple pages within a design. They can be used to repeat background images, page numbering, chapter title formatting, etc. It is important to note master pages should be used to repeat an element that is identical in shape, size, color, and position on multiple pages. If elements are similar but not exact, a master page would not be the most appropriate option for repeating your design element. Master pages are housed at the very top of the pages panel in InDesign and are separated from actual document pages by a thin horizontal line. They do not count towards the total page count in the document. They are simply a template that can be linked to actual pages within the design. And you can see an example here in the bottom right hand corner of this slide. So if you decide that you have a master page which is at the very top and you put a circle on that master page, it will repeat on every page that that master page is linked to. So if we look at the first example here, the top pages would be the top of our pages panel and we have nothing on our master pages. But on the spreads within the design, we have designed a page that has a border at the bottom, a page that has angles at the bottom, uh, a page or a spread that has shading on the outsides, and a spread where you have shading on the top part of the pages. Now every one of these spreads is different, but there may be one unique element that repeats on every page, and that's where the master page comes into play. So in the second example here, we've added a circle, a repeating element that repeats in exactly the same place, size, color, etc. And I want it to be included on every single spread. So although the design of the pages is different, right, we have that shaded border at the bottom versus the top. We have it on the outsides versus on angles at the bottom. We still can have a repeating element that repeats in exactly the same place, in the same size, shape, color, etc.